All right, go ahead. All right. That's all of them live on Ustream, starring. Still great sword. I Shingo Yabuki, come on everyone, introduce yourselves so we're not alone here. The guy named Sky, and I'm texting my friend. Chibi Chan Ethan. returning. <laughs> Go ahead, Ethan. Ethan Rivers at playing a show. Chibi Chan returning as Biakarin. Um, should I introduce myself as well? Oh, no. Hey. Yes. Uh, Dio the Crimson signing in. And I am Hydro Cherry, being the audience, trying to regain my sanity. And TWC, the King Derp. And he's <laughs> talking to the like random dude in the middle of nowhere. It's Pokemon. Otherwise, no, it's Pokemon New York. And it's Chapter 8 uh, Evil Unleashed. Yay! <laughs> chapter 8 Evil Unleashed. Current new Mamiso and Show watched stiffly as the blade glowed brighter and brighter. It rose into the air and released a blinding light. All observers winced and converted, covered their eyes. What's going on? New a gel. Gel? That's that's sh that sword. Just what the heck is it? Show asked, grinning her teeth. The light faded and everyone looked over toward the sword, or rather, where the sword was. In its place was a yokai with red eyes and silver hair. She had six wings and a silver dress, the color of moonlight. I'm finally free! The yokai yelled a crazy is the lies. Be a current noise at the yokai. The evil aura she was emanating was truly bone chilling. Who are you? Biakuren asked carefully. Oh, I'm called Kamiko, and I am that sword. And that sword is me. I am the embodiment of blue moonlight. The yokai smirked, the glow in her eyes becoming bright. And I'm going to destroy this land. And everything is. Meanwhile, Ichirin, Murasa, and Nashrin had come to see the commotion. They stood by Byakuren and wearily gazed at Kamiko, who glared down at them. Hmm? Playing Mar 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 Marasa. Marasa. Biakarin Sama, what's going on? Murasa whispered to Biakarin. Mm. Who's playing Ichirin? No, Ichirin. <laughs> oh, what I'll do, Ichirin, for all of it. Okay. Who is that? Ichirin nodded. Biakarin didn't respond but merely stood there with the unconscious Okami in her arms. She had a feeling of impending doom in her stomach. The aura this yokai possessed was frighteningly evil, and she sounded like she would seriously destroy everything if she wasn't stopped. Biakuren? Oh, oh, sorry. We have to stop her. Biakuren muttered. Nasrin? Alright, let's see. Yeah. Yakran Sama! <laughs> Nashrin asked quietly. Mioran Temple. Yakran started. Two arms! Attack that six winged yokai! We cannot let her leave the temple grounds! Everyone readied for battle. Ichirin summoned Onsen. Murasa brought out her anchor. Nui raided her trident. Mamiso prepared her paper shiki Shikigami. And Sho help helped up her jewel pagoda. Sorry. Nazrin, I need you to take Okami inside the temple to Kyoko. Keep an eye on her. The current order. Nazrin noted and hoisted the unconscious Okami upon her shoulders, but due to Okami's height, her feet were dragged behind her. Nazrin dragged Okami all the way to the main building in the temple. Kyoko was inside, staring at the ground and sniffling. The Yamabiko turned her head and saw Nazrin lock the unconscious Okami into the room. Okami! <laughs> Kyoko yelped, rushing to Nashrin. What happened to her? Hey, Nazi, you need speak. Oh, let's see, where am I? <laughs> Yakrin told me to carry her while she deals with her sword, Nazrin explained. Oh, sorry. Her sword? <laughs> 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 anyway. 
Uh, turns out the sword is a yokai. A pretty scary yokai. Nasrin spoke, putting Okami under the kotatsu and elevating her head with a nearby pillow. So Okami okay? Yeah, Yoko she's at. just unconscious. Nasrin replied. I'm worried about the others. Meanwhile, Ichiro and Unsan were throwing massive punches at Kamiko, who merely deflected the attacks with a wave of moonlight. Murasa chucked her anchor towards the moonlight yokai, but Kamiko caught it with both hands and threw it back. Murasa just barely dodged her own anchor. Murasa. Murasa. <laughs> uh. Hey! Taylor! Person! Girl! Murasa! I think Ethan did the voice I think we was, okay. Yeah, where's Ethan? Uh, oh, 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 sorry. <laughs> wow. Sorry, Come on, beat you. Go ahead. Technical difficulties. <laughs> For a second. Uh, she's strong. Really strong. Morasa commented, gritting her teeth. Oh, wait, this is the new reason line. Okay, um. I'm not, su I'm not surprised. Have you seen what she did to Okami? Her girl fell unconscious. That, that thing pretty much possessed her. Newer remarked. She glared at Kamiko and fired multiple green curvy lasers, lasers at the yokai. Kamiko attempted to dodge them, but got nicked in the arm by one of the lasers. She narrowed her eyes at the fired beam of moonlight at the undefined yokai. The beam sped towards her at an ungodly speed. But the current reflected the beam with her star maelstrom lasers. This opened the path for Morasa. Each turn and show to charge in. Kamiko growled and only the quick, knocking everyone back several feet. Byakuren grit her teeth and sicked. If this yokai could do that with one blow, then it will be far too risky to try attacking any further. Everyone, fall back. Byakuren order. But, but Byakuren Selma, we're not supposed to let, let it off the grounds. Show protested. I can't. I can't risk continuing this battle. She's too strong. We have to regroup. Yeah, Corinne said. It. Yeah, Corinne didn't want to lose anyone. Everyone stood back, albeit unwillingly. A crazed grin spread across Kamiko's face. <laughs> so you've given up? A smart choice. As a reward, I'll kill your little temple last. She snarled. The moonlight yokai retreated and flew up into the distance. Byakuren clenched her, first, her fist around her scroll. By Buddha, what have I unleashed on Tegensokyo? <laughs> she muttered, bending her lip. Oh, she's <laughs> literally bending her lip. Let's see, I don't think there's a... Actually, well, I can just do that. Well, that's the end. End of chapter 8. Yay! That was yeah. awesome. That was short. It's really short, if you know what I mean. With every it's single cast. Yeah. It's That's they're all short when you're used to reading. Um, guys, and I'm also talking about the guys on stream as well. How did I do for my first performance? Not bad. You, you're actually really good. You and, did awesome. You're actually pretty damn good. Thank you. Yeah, and what are the guys on stream <laughs> saying? Let's see, I like the. Uh, oh, oh, RN is referencing. They, they having, uh, you did well. Uh, commando. Katie I like you, but that's why I can give something. you that. I, Katie, I, Katie Cat, beep, I missed, beep. <laughs> <laughs> I just hope my narration was okay then. It was good. Who are you again? <laughs> are you again? I'm just a Mexican who illegally crossed the online border to be here. I don't think you um, meant you. Here, Legion. Anyway, and this I'm is just the call the moon with these people. It's still great to yes. These people! As Everyone. long as my sanity hey. still stays up. And I Shingo Yabuki. And I. I'm ready. An, Who should I be? Uh, to, as a note to stream people, don't elevate the head. First aid doesn't work that way. What? What? Uh, it's just me nitpicking because I've been through first aid training, a lot of first aid training, and that's one thing you don't do. You elevate the feet, not the head. One second. Okay. <laughs> oh, crap. Um, did anyone hear a patoon sound just now? 
Yes! <laughs> yes, you <laughs> <we> did! <laughs> oh, oh no! Probably. My thing's a little bit late. I didn't hear it. Did I go? No, I animated that. You'll see that in the official video. Anyway, see you, folks.